Right now we're in the HVAC lab. It was actually converted from three IT classrooms. What you see here is work that all the students actually did themselves. Um, we guided them through it. They used the hammer drill. They busted through the building. They ran all the line sets. They ran the duct work. They hooked up all the electrical. They brazed everything in. So all of the equipment in the lab is equipment that the students actually themselves assembled and put together. My name is Derek Valentine. I am the HVAC and BMR coordinator, responsible for guiding the program, hiring the instructors, making sure that our students are getting all the information uh, that they need in order to be employable. I think we're running right above 50 students. I think it's around like 51. The very first thing they're learning is basic electricity and basic refrigeration cycle. There is no such thing as cold. It's really the absence of heat. So we have to get them to start understanding the refrigeration cycle, which gears them toward any piece of equipment in the industry. Because we do refrigeration equipment, we do commercial, we do uh, industrial, we do residential. So they learn the basics of that first, the components and how the refrigeration cycle works. And then they also learn basic electricity. 75% of the problems we run into are electrical in nature. So we go ahead and get them through the basics of electrical, how to use their multimeter, how to ohm wires, how to check for continuity, do amp draws, and things like that. And that's what they learn in the very first two classes. After that, we have um, seven other courses that they go through where we start to break down the career itself. We have a mod that's specifically on motors. Um, we have one that's specifically on heat pumps. Uh, one that's on um, refrigeration equipment like these units right here that you'll see in any restaurant. We have one on psychometrics and airflow, so all the duct work and, and the science of air distribution and things like that. Uh, and then we have our last two classes are advanced troubleshooting, uh, as far as advanced troubleshooting for refrigeration and advanced troubleshooting for HVAC. HVAC is the one trade where we kind of dabble in all the trades. We do a lot of electrical, we do a lot of plumbing because we have geothermal systems, um, water source heat pump systems. Likewise, from a carpentry standpoint, we, we frame in our duct work and things of that nature. So HVAC is the one that gives you a little bit of everything. There has been a huge investment in making sure that not only are we educating the students, but we're giving them the actual hands-on knowledge and expertise to get out here and find employment.